creating a neighborhood. The Rendezvous Le Breton Group, which represents the Ottawa Senators, and DCDLS both pitched their proposals in January for the redevelopment of Le Breton Flats, a 22-acre stretch of undeveloped and for most of the year unused land. This has been the home of the Ottawa Senators for the past two decades. But with the unveiling of two bids put forward to develop Le Breton Flats, Senators fans could soon find themselves heading downtown for games. Both proposals include a new venue for NHL games, concerts and attractions, and a public library. Our, our project is not just about a new arena downtown. It's, uh, it's a key piece, obviously. Um, but our project is m much more than an arena. It's about integrating uh, a community around the arena, so bringing new residential uh, buildings, uh, commercial buildings, uh, integrating uh, a new senseplex, ability center, a library. So really building uh, a sense of community um, with the key piece obviously being an arena, but it's not just the only piece down there. The city has already planned to include two LRT stops in the development. Would you take advantage of the LRT if you were going downtown for a game? I think so, yes. I think that would be the only way to go. I think the LRT is you know, a big reason what's going to make this successful is the fact that people can hop on the train and don't really have to deal with, you know, the, the bumper to bumper traffic, you know, coming to and from the game. So, you know, that's really the X factor and I think it's going to tie everything together. The NCC has extended the date of the public consultation process to February 8th. To see the proposals in person, visit the Constitution Square office complex from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Canadian Tire Centre Friday to Monday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Section 203. Regardless of which proposal gets chosen, this empty stretch of land will be soon unrecognizable.